Welcome back, fourth grade. Today we're going to talk more about our gazelle picture. Remember this? And we're going to learn how to enlarge each part of the picture. What on earth does that mean? Well, let's find out. Okay, so here I have our gazelle picture, and it has the grid marks on it. Do we see that? Now, you guys did a wonderful job at drawing the grid on your own piece of paper and um, recreating this picture. Everyone's looked remarkable. So now what we're going to look at is what if I take these grid pieces and I cut them up into individual pieces? What would that look like? So it might look something like this. Here I have number one and the second one. And these go together. And these are the pieces that go right here. But they're much bigger and I've taken them apart so they're kind of like puzzle pieces, okay? So let's practice drawing this one right here. Now what I want you to do is I want you to take out a ruler. If you don't have a ruler next to you, pause the video and go find one. Okay, and with that ruler, we're going to measure six inches on the top. Maybe not. Like that. And on the sides, we're going to measure five inches. Measure six inches again. Okay, so we have six inches and five inches. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at this picture and see how much smaller it is than this size that we're drawing in. How can I get this whole picture to fit within the boundaries of this without only making it this small. I need to make it this big. How can I do that? So the first thing I'm thinking is I'm going to look at this picture and I'm going to make little markers for myself or little um, guidelines for myself. So I'm looking at this horn top right here, the tip of this horn and it is a little above the halfway mark on this square. Do we see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to find halfway between N5, which is two and a half. So it's about right here. Draw a little tick. And I'm going to draw a line splitting it in half. Very light line. Very, very light line. You can barely even see it. So I have my picture right here, and I know that it sits just above halfway. So I'm going to draw a little tick mark right here, and I know that my horn starts to come down like that. Okay, so with that, I know that this horn is above this horn. So it starts about right here. So let me draw a little line. Oh, it's a little high. So it starts about right here. Right there. Just above that horn. And it'll come down like that. Okay, so now we can do the rest of this. So let's look at the bottom of our horns right here. So halfway down this shape is about right here. So again, the ends of the horns rest on either side of the halfway mark. So we're gonna find halfway between six, which is three. I'm gonna draw a really, really, really light line, super light line. And then I'm going to 
draw the rest of my horns. Now I've separated it into its own grid. So there's the rest of that horn, and then I'm going to draw the rest of this horn, and it comes down, and it goes out like that. So now I've drawn my horns. And so now we need to draw the borders here. So again, they're on top of this antler or horn. And this one is, so let's look at it as one whole strip. So it comes down, it touches it, and we're just gonna go back over that line that we drew for the antler and it has to be split into threes. So let's find halfway between this line and this line. It's about, I would say right here. That one you can eyeball. So we're going to draw our best representation of it So now I have my three colors, and we don't need to draw all of these squares. We're going to add those in later, okay? So what I want you to do is I'm going to assign each of you, if you're uh, depending on your last name, three, three of these cutout pieces to draw six inches by five inches in your sketchbook. Remember that the six inch line needs to be going horizontally, so it needs to be going this way, side to side, and the five inch line needs to be going up and down, vertically. Okay, so go ahead and find your pictures that are assigned to you, and go ahead and get started. And what you need to do is you'll take a picture of your three drawings, and you'll upload them to Google Classroom, and that'll be it. Have a great day, guys. Bye.